So back inside our view application, we also have to import Firebase here, but we have to import a different module. So let's install that module. So npmi save Firebase without admin. And while this is installing, here I want to create another folder, services, and I want to have our services and API inside this folder. So I will create a new file, firebase.js, and then here let's import Firebase from Firebase. Okay. So now we have to go inside our movie app here, and we actually have to create this application. So let's go here to web, and let's add movie app, register app, and then we can copy this file here. And let's continue to console. So here, let's paste this in. You can leave the comments if you like. So we are creating new Firebase instance here, and let's also export default Firebase. So we can import our Firebase inside other components and modules. Then also here, I want to create a new folder. I want to have new file. I want to have a movies api.js. So inside this folder, I want to create all the APIs that we'll have on our Firebase, Firebase instance so we can save some code and make it look cleaner. So let's import Firebase from Firebase. Let's also create a database here. So Firebase, Firestore, and then our collection of movies. And then here in this file, I just want to have a simple object, which will have a couple of properties, which will expose some API that we can use on our Firestore. So let's have const movies API. And then here I want to have get movies, which will be a async function. And we will have couple of more functions so let's just copy them and create them first and then we will fill them one by one so next we will have add movie we will also have get movie by ID we will have update movie and lastly we will have delete movie Okay, so let's finish our get movies. So here I want to have a list of documents that we will get from our Firestore. And to actually retrieve documents from our collection, we can call .get on our DB here. And then we will receive a list of documents. So const movies. So we have to actually loop these documents here and we have to parse them in how we like to have them because Firebase has its own structure how it operates with these documents. So documents dot docs dot map here we'll have a single document and I want to return something here. So if we check what we have here, we have this keys here which is our unique ID, then we have values inside. So key value pairs, essentially. But if you examine closely what we have in our values, you can see that we don't have an ID like we did before. But we actually do need to have this ID because our routing in view depends on it. And also whenever we use V4, we use ID to bind as a key attribute. So we actually have to merge these values with this key here. So then I want to create an object here and I want to merge document.data and that is how you can retrieve these values with ID that we can take from document.id that is this key here and we also need to return from this function but we can actually return here 
immediately like this okay so one more thing well we actually have to export this module so default and then movies api so let's go to our store and here we have to create another constant because we will have another mutation and we will have another action so set movies I don't need this anymore and let's set this to an empty array because now we will fetch our movies from Firestore and not our movie list in our file that we, like we did before. So let's quickly add a new mutation. So type is set movies. Then here we have state, we have movies and then we only need to set state.movies equals to movies so back here in our actions let's add fetch movies commit and then inside well I want to call our movies API so we first need to import movies API from our services movies api and then here we can just call movies api dot get movies and then since this is a promise we can chain then and we can also chain catch here if any error happens okay so inside then we will have a response which will be our list of movies and then we actually have to commit these movies. So set movies and then send in this response. And then here we have an error which we can just log error. Okay. So now if we go to our application that we actually have to open in our terminal. Well, we don't have anything here and we also don't have any errors. So if you remember so let's go to our components and let's go to our movie list well we have to actually because now we don't have anything as a initial data it's just an empty array so we never actually call this fetch movies action here so inside movies list i want to take this back in this created lifecycle hook and here i want to dispatch fetch movies action so dispatch fetch movies let's save and then back here well sure enough we have our movies and if we try to sort them well it still works but now we are fetching data from our firestore 